What we have here is another bomber, bomber day. <laughs> it's so crazy right now. Yeah, I'm gonna look ahead. Day before. I'm not second guess. Any of this? Oh my god. Oh my god, I did it again. Okay, I'm gonna look at you. You just like look at me. That's nice. That's it's shiny. Nice. You're gonna have to take care of that today. First, we're gonna rip these off uh -huh. when you crash to the side. That's gonna go. And then this side, it's pretty nice though. I like the blue and the red scheme. It's a little Captain America there, hey? Uh -huh. And look at you, you're all in green. You're like Oscar the Grouch or the Grinch. <laughs> wow, you're a little clashy there. Let's see if you can still ride. Ooh, check this out. My, uh, my friend John, my internet friend John, Gave me this idea and it's kind of, it's almost complete. I'm still strapping this to the rack. Soon it will be bolted on. That's pretty great. All right, let's buggy. All right, hey, you might've noticed I'm not wearing normal snow biking stuff. I'm actually wearing a mountain equipment co-op mountain biking jacket. I'm wearing fanner, fanner forestry pants. Just trying out some different stuff. Now, Andrew's wearing his normal big one-piece tubey suit. It's pretty bomber, but I'm on the search for something different that'll work for snow biking and our heavy enduro adventure biking in the summer. What I'm looking for is something I can put on over my armor and take off and crumple it up in a little tiny ball. That's really important in the summer because we don't want to take our adventure biking jackets, which are full of armor, and just take them off because we got too hot. It doesn't work. So a shell like this out here is great. And if I get too hot, I can just take this off. Like when Andrew gets stuck. <laughs> and uh, in the summer, in the summer, we're looking to wear the same sort of gear. So I know of one company that makes some pretty bomber stuff that we're checking out. And one of the important things too, I think we need uh, big zips in the front and in the back to let the hot air out, right? Because we're full of hot air. All right, let's hit it. That's not what you're supposed to do. 
<laughs> Look at this dummy down here. Goes right into a tree well. Well, I'm just on the edge of it. Just on the edge, no big deal. Oh yeah! Oh look at this! So I opened my pit tips, which I really don't think are ideal. I think that what you want, and I know this from my adventure biking and hard enduro or heavy enduro, not hard enduro, I do heavy enduro, enduro riding on really big bikes. You want front zips and you want zips on the back so air can come in and go out. I don't know what's, what's with this? Pit zips are stupid. <laughs> if you guys have found the perfect riding gear in a two piece that I can wear when it's really crappy and cold in the summer, I can also wear snow biking. Let me know in the comments. Let's go find it. Sorry guys, I'm back. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> there you have it. First dum dum on the new bike. <laughs> I'm so stuck. Oh dear. Legs caught in the handlebars. <laughs> Oh, Lokita, are you taking lessons from Helga? Hmm? Oh dear. Wow, well, let's wipe the lens, cause that's a good one. Yeah. We were waiting for Smelly to come back on that one. Okay, we'll start packing the track down. Okay, here's another thing I like about my two-piece system. I'm warm and I'm gonna take off my jacket, but I couldn't do that with a one-piece because then I'd be naked. <laughs> right? Yeah. I know you like it when I'm naked, oh, snow biking. But hey, this is a family channel. Yeah. This is G-rated production. Yeah. When someone gets awesomely stuck like this, we like to take off our helmets. Ah. And then film the action, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, I quickly ran out of talent and then continued to try to hang on. <laughs> and all went sideways. Then I asked Lukita if she's been taking lessons from Helga. Oh. How to dump me. Getting dumped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a big hole there I didn't see. Hey, look at you way down there. Hey, wasn't I stuck? This is where I was stuck like three weeks ago, exactly in this trough that I'm next to. What a dummy. Get back to you. Yeah, well, I just, I just fell over. Want to see if I can drive out of it? Let's see if I can lift this thing. Yeah, I am so unstrong. You know what? With the, I think I can, but. That angle, as you guys know, is not gonna happen. If I bring down the front, I should just drive out of there. <clears throat> this very naughty camera switched over to photo mode. <laughs> so I just I just didn't get a whole bunch of stuff and we don't know when that happened. Well you were stuck. I was stuck. <laughs> I'm sure you got it on tape. Yeah. On tape? How old is that? <laughs> It's so fun <laughs> it's hard to stay together in this stuff because one bounce and you turn and come around a corner it's too tight so we are separated in the same small area but separated oh okay <laughs> he's way down there
goodness. Wow. Well, there, <laughs> there is the danger, guys, of super flat light. Oh boy. Let's just walk back a step because I rolled over that and that was lots of fun. And the ski set down about here and look at her. This is a day of days. <laughs> we'll just get a little side shot. Oh, poor girl. She's like, what home did I go to? <laughs> oh my god. I didn't say anything. Because what you see this. Did you go over the handlebars? Oh, I did the scorpion. He kicked himself in the back of the head. Well, on tape. Oh my god, what a day. What a day. <sighs> Jojo's at the wheel. Did you almost get stuck there? Yeah. Looks like you had a tough turn, I bet you're out. Yeah. Oh, did you fall off of that from your head? Maybe. <laughs> Whatever! Shut up! I know he's right there, I could hear him just a second ago. It's just, it's so good. Let's see if we can catch a little shot and come through the tree. Nice. Dog monkey. Look at this in here, guys. It's beautiful. Hey, she jumps. She bounces. The light is super flat. I'm kind of getting freaked out. just so good and days like this especially days like today you got to remember how lucky you are for the things you have the place in the world you live in i'm out here snow biking and there's a war on right now like it does not escape me how lucky i am holy cow be thankful hey eh? got my health just over a year ago i had open heart surgery extra happy to be here hey eh? Wow, steep and deep. It's 
so good. Kill me! <laughs> Yay! I didn't die! Yay! I'm not dead! <laughs> we might be here the rest of the day, but I'm not dead. The bike went completely over. I'm like looking up. I said, "Don't kill me." Oh! Hey, no problem. Just flip it and drive it out. Nice shape there, actually. Might have got a little snow in my pants. Uh. 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 Wow. Beauty. Boom, boom, yeah. boom. Better than going. Taking <sighs> <sighs> the snow out of my neck. Yeah, I just. Looked up and saw it slowly coming down. It's okay though. Anna's being good. Good girl. <sighs> go, okay, let's go. That last little rundown was worth the drive out. It was that good. Big smile. Yeah. Good. Remarkable. Yeah, so give us a quick overview of what you got on. What do you figure? How's it feel? It feels all pretty good. I got the Fanner Forestry pants. I don't know what they're called, but they make high-end forestry clothing. It is starting to get wet on the outside now. I'm wearing my Mountain Equipment Co-op mountain biking jacket with pit zips, which are stupid. <laughs> okay, the vents in the front and the back. I don't know why everyone isn't doing it. I'm wearing my armor underneath. When we get stuck, I take off the jacket. I mean, when you get stuck, I take off the jacket. I ain't never get stuck. Because right now, you guys can see this. My panties are a little wet. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm a little soppy. Well, that's what that. I have a suit just like that, too, and it just needs to be washed and reheated. Yeah. Oh, I need to take care of my stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. Ah. Maintenance check. Exactly. Wonder if Rider's Edge does laundry. <laughs> they do everything else for us. <laughs> they are awesome. I have to give a shout out quickly to, to, to Ian and Kyle and Owen and the whole gang at Rider's Edge. They put this bike together in a day and a half. <laughs> Reeled in, gave them a check. They did the swoopy swap and remarkably most of the stuff came over from Helga, which was really cool. And yeah, out the door in under two days. Welcome to the show, folks. Oh yeah, what a champ. My hero. <laughs> that was awesome. So it gets 
quite creaky in here. Not creaky like an old man. Creaky as in water. We're gonna pay attention to that. in here, hey? Yeah. I think there's a little ravine up ahead here. I don't exactly know where we are. That's fun. Look at these trees. Woo! Oh, here he comes. Please don't change. Stinky, where are you? I cannot see you. Come closer. That's what we like to see. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna be so harsh. And I kinda took a bit of the seat. You know, like that part. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I, I hurt my schween. Your what? My schween. Your schween. <laughs> And a deceleration moment. <laughs> oh, now it's starting to set in. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> Let's go home and play Xbox. All right, Xbox it is. <laughs> yeah. hey, uh -huh. Get in there. Get in there. There you go. <laughs> oh. Will it be? Oh, it was almost end of day, guy. Pulled it off. For those of you who don't know, end of day guy is the one who messes up the trip on the way back to the truck, and it's usually me. Woo! All right, guys and girls, well that's a wrap. Day one on Lukita, the Gas Gas 450, and uh, I gotta say I'm digging it. Scotty's rocking some different gear, trying some stuff out, and he's got a pretty cool setup with his tunnel. So, all in all. I give today a thumbs up. See you later, guys. <laughs> <laughs>